Good morning to you. Today we are about to work on the user and card part. Um, so we go user card and let's say we're going to create a user so we can click on new. Um, we give the name and we have to hit enter to get to the next part. Here you can select the card type that depends on how the system is designed in that system right now is designed so the card type is um the company or the department for example we have Cantec, we have taiko that's the company that user belong to or if it's not there we can make a right click and new we can create the new one mm, let's say we're gonna call that tech support for that test okay so we have the username and we have the card type also we can add the card number depend on the card number okay and remember also what we call the information card information usually these you will see information card one information two up to ten you have ten field those field you can customize them for you to access and modify that you need to double click on the name anywhere like here i have all so here we have company id department because we changed them before okay so let's say company ID would be tech support. Ah uh, no, let's say can tech tech support for the department. Mm. Agent, we can say. So if we have marker. Modelo, color. Okay, so we add the information if we have them. All right. Um, okay, so we have that user, and remember the access level, please. Um, let's say all the access level. We also have miscellaneous. Miscellaneous if if we are uh, if we want to add the end date for that user for example let's say that user will be for one month all right and then if i want that user to be automatically deleted after i check that of course we can add the picture and here if we want to add a limitation of how many times that card can be used we can add it there no need for now and here we can add the comment okay so we're done with that card so we have the card created we have different other card in there we can check okay so we'll test let's make sure we we let's say wall on we can add that to can take can take okay All right, so we have some user there. And let's say, for example, we want to make some report. Report related to the user. The way to do, we go back to user card. We click on the printer icon. All right. And in here, card index. What will be the focus on that report let's say we want a report on every user who actually got um a car okay we select filter we can also make other selection but filter will be enough and we make a selection here okay and here if we want specifically 
first of all we can just do preview here to see what's happening here we have the result and we have those user we have three user in our system who actually got a car the one we just created remember we added a car in there so it's there and we have two other users they both got car in the system let's say we want a user who actually all the user we have with their title all right so we select title and we click preview and in that report we'll be seeing people with title remember test user we put the title for them they were agent and those other user for example lizano ivan let's take a look at the user and see lizano ivan lizano ivan if you click in here this user as a title that's why when we click on the report it came up with in the report so we can ask depending on what we're looking for all right so let's start over we want to make report accordingly to the people we're looking for we go to user card we click on the printer icon we can if we want all the user in the system with the card number fine you just leave it card number select filter here if we want the card type you can do that depending on which user for example all the user with a specific type all right here we're gonna go with all user okay if i do preview remember we can have that in csv also but here we do in preview in that system right now we have let's see how many user 13 user we have 13 user in that system right now it's everybody with the card number okay now if we want to narrow that down specifically i can say card type and say we want everybody in kentech Kentech as a user we have one person that was Roland we select in Kentech So we can now down those report also if we want everybody and point selected field We want some other information. For example, we want the cedula We want also the department and if we do preview Please look at that report right now that report we give us everything but also include the cedula and the department so wherever here they have the cedula number and the department we have them in the report we have the name the department and the cedula and so on so we can here if we look at that that part is actually if we want for example a specific user if we know the card number we can put the same card number i know we have a b um 1075 a b 1075 so if i do preview here i have myself because i know my card numbers if we have the card number of that person we can now down the search by putting the same card number up and down all right so otherwise we leave it in zero zero that means everybody and then that part if if we want to fill it for example card state if we want only valid card or the card was deleted stuff like that so right now we leave it by default also and here it's to know right is to know to if we want to have those available in the report if we want the report to include access level company id we can do that if i add selection and car right modelo 
if I do preview. So in here we have the report with more information because we requested more information. I have that user, company ID, department, Cedulo, this guy's a Hyundai in 1992. So we have as much information as possible. Alright. So this is how you can one report and this is how of course you can um, if you want only people who has access to a specific door you can also select the door if i want those two doors or i want to know all the user has access to those door or why the report we do because not everyone here got access everywhere so those we only have three user who has access to those two doors and so on i hope this video will help you to understand and of course, your... this part is to one report on the user part. But if you want to one report, like in access report to know who has access in here, you have, for example, access event. If you want to know specifically where a specific user they had access to, you can come here. All right. And we have A, B. 01075 that's a card number that we know that user was just created so pretty sure if we want the report there won't be much waiting for the report to come up otherwise we can go and look for it in this page in this location I mean you see here I have nothing because that user I just created that earlier so that's also a different example. Or I can click do the report for everybody. Okay. Everybody. So. Also remember you can have the report in CSV. You can have it in different format. Even in PDF. So I can click execute. It will give me everyone. Not specifically somebody. And we have all the card with where they went to. And stuff like that. So we are waiting to see the result and since I asked it in PDF it's coming empty because the report was for today and today nobody accessed my system. I was not even connected but if I go uh, let's say the beginning of the month I want the same report. I'm sure that won't be coming blank anymore. And of course in the event message you can see all right so here we have some result i have the report okay so we do have report with the user and card information and so on all right so remember any moment in the software if you need help you just click on help that will bring you to the part uh, with the documentation needed to know how to run your report like quick report how to define a report what type of report and so on everything you can find out and also if it's not enough the documentation is included in the software all right you go look for entropass depending on what entropass you have in here entropass corporate documentation you have the reference manual and the user manual so you have them there and you can just click on one of them right and look for a report that will show you the step by step and all the report like custom report how to set up the report and so on okay and you also have remember the reference manual if we'll take a look at it also included this is this got more information than the other one report all right so you have print a list of report you have how to define report and so on okay so you can look let's go at page 240 something
so you have all the documentation that you need included in the software and also the help is there for you anytime so you can look and and find your answers all right i hope this video will help and have a wonderful